It's December in London and last week's snow has now turned into rain. Over the last week there's been a lot of new faces so I just thought I would squeeze in a quick vlog to wish everyone a Merry Christmas or a lovely winter break if you don't celebrate. Today we're at the RA to see the Making Modernism exhibition, showcasing famous female artists from the 1900s. Probably the cat painting from before or this goldfish painting is my favourite. In the permanent connection, this unfinished painting really inspires me. It reminds me that all these great oil paintings go through many stages before reaching their final form. And it also amazes me how sculptors make stone look so fluid. I've been really inspired by charcoal pieces like this one. I think it's really whimsical and magical looking. Chinatown is only a 10 minute walk away, so we had a massive dinner and by the time we finished, the sun had already set and the Christmas lights were shimmering. These watercolour sketchbooks have 210 GSM cotton rag paper and the texture is kind of rough, I think it would be really great for landscapes, maybe in gouache or watercolour or even mixed media. Um, meanwhile, my mum found a new decoration for our tree and we're comparing all the little robins to find the fattest one out of the bunch and I think this guy is about to win the competition. These handmade ceramics are so gorgeous as well. I think they'd be great for storing soft pastels and other things on your desk. They do sell moleskin sketchbooks here, but the handmade ones really caught my eye. I've never seen sketchbooks like this with coloured deckled edges. All the paper is 100% cotton rag, handmade in India, and there's so many different sizes and weights to choose from. I've seen people do beautiful soft pastel landscapes on paper like this, but I've never tried it myself. I think my favourite was this massive library book, which I'll show you in a bit. It really reminded me of an encyclopedia where you can log different plants and mythical creatures and other things like that. It's quite a hefty book, I mean look at it, it looks so amazing. I didn't end up buying it because it was £45 and I'm not too familiar with this paper so I didn't want to risk it. So in the end I got two Blackwing pencils and my mum got the chubby little robin and I also got a sketchbook for £15. It's 30 minutes until closing, which is just enough time for a quick sketch. So previously I asked for flower fairy suggestions and one of you guys suggested a holly fairy. 
I've just done a draft sketch so her cape is going to be dark green but I can't decide if her dress should be white with green and red detailing or if I should make her dress red to match the holly berries. So I'm planning to do these pieces in watercolour and I've done a couple of draft sketches so far. For the holly fairy her hair will be ginger like a robin and I also tried to incorporate holly leaf motifs in both her cape and her dress. She's also sitting on a holly branch and the name of the plant will be engraved onto the frame behind her where I tried to mimic vintage sort of fountain pen writing. And then again in the frame behind her I've tried to repeat these spiky holly leaf shapes as well as round berry shapes with these holly leaves wrapped around. Someone also suggested a snowdrop fairy but I've done a snowflake one instead which is similar but it just has green dots on each petal. And again I've tried to incorporate it into his outfit and also onto his wings and I'll try to match the colour of his outfit to the plant as well. I'm quite excited for this series because I love to make stuff up. I think I want to do sketchbook spreads with the fairy poster on one side and then field notes and sketches of little trinkets and other things that belong to the fairy on the other side. And yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for any other flowers or backstories for them then please leave a comment, I'd really love to hear them. I really like how delicate his expression is so I hope I can recapture that in the final painting. I think I'll first test the colour schemes on my iPad before moving on to the final painting in watercolour and hopefully I can share some more concept sketches with you guys in the new year. You might have noticed that the holly fairy doesn't have wings so I had this idea that they have robin companions to fly around on but um, I have no idea how to draw birds yet so that will probably be something new for me to learn in 2023. If you're still watching, thank you for supporting this channel. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more artsy vlogs like this. I hope you guys have a lovely holiday season and I'll see you in the new year. Love you lots and until next time, take care.